Okay, let's start with our name and our room number in the middle, the middle of the paper, then flip it to the front. And then we're gonna draw a line near the top going across and then down, down. Then we're going to close it and make it look like a rectangle. Down, down, close it again. So we have two stacked rectangles. We're gonna divide that one up there, go straight across. That's gonna be our snowman's hat. And then we're gonna draw an eye and another eye. And then we're going to draw a horizontal line and we're gonna bring it back in and close it. Now it looks like a triangle. Let's draw some curved lines on our carrot nose to make it look 3D. Then we're gonna draw some circles to be our mouth. Now we're still pretty far at the top, so this is just the head. Then we're gonna make a rounded line and go straight down on both sides. We're working on the scarf now. And then we're gonna close that shape and then have it come down like a, another rectangle going the other direction. Then we can put some fringe on that scarf if you want. And if you want stripes on your scarf, I'm gonna draw them this way for the piece hanging down. Then we're gonna draw a line from the hat to the scarf, but we want it rounded or curved to make it look like the snowman's head. And then we're gonna do the other side. So we have that circle for the head. Then we're going to make a little mark at the bottom so that we can come and make another mark going round and round. So that way it looks like we have two circles on our snowmen. If you wanna add buttons, go ahead and do that. Then we're gonna add some little circles up in the corner here. This will be our highlight. So now we're ready to Sharpie. We're gonna put a mat underneath our paper, use the thick Sharpie, put the lid on the back, and then we are going to start tracing our pencil lines to make them stand out. So when we get to the bottom of the hat, I want you to make another shape rectangle and then you can color that in with your marker, like I'm showing you here. Then we're going to continue tracing everything we made in pencil. Now for these here, we're gonna color in the bigger part of the eye and leave that little shape white. So that gives it like a little highlight in the eye. Just continuing to trace all my pencil. Taking my time to stay on my line that I created. And then your circles for your mouth, you can color those in with your marker. 